Have you ever wanted to have this encounter with Jesus just to see God, just to experience Him in that most intimate way where the Holy Spirit just flows out of your belly to overflow when you get into this presence, to get into this Christ's kingdom where it's just absolute bliss and ecstasy? Did you want to have dreams or visions? Have you been praying for this meeting? Um, and have you felt like maybe your prayers haven't been answered? Maybe, you know, God hasn't showed up yet in your life? Well, I want to encourage you uh, with some scriptures. Um, the Word of God is a very, very beautiful and powerful thing, as it is an instruction manual how to come in to God's kingdom through Christ Jesus, how to live your life, you know, appropriately, um, how to basically a roadmap to the tree of life, a roadmap to the narrow gate, to the narrow path, which is difficult. And unfortunately, many people will not find it or, or walk on it. But if you want to get into God's presence, I want to read some scriptures to you here. First condition or first uh, scripture is out of Matthew 5, verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. So one of the conditions, if you want to see God, if you want to have that experience, um, if you want to have that meeting, is you have to be pure in heart. Uh, scripture is very um, specific here in this place about that. Then next scripture is out of John 14, verse 21. He who has my commandments and keeps them is he who loves me. And listen to this part very carefully. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Isn't that powerful here? So what does this mean? This means that he who understands his commands and keeps him, that's the key here, to have the commands and to keep them, is he the one, that's the one that loves him, Jesus says here, and this is John 14, verse 21, and if you love him, he will be loved by his Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. That's uh, the words of Jesus Christ here, and one more verse, I'm just going to do three today, but man, spend word in the scriptures, church. Uh, you know, I encourage everyone to spend time in scriptures. Uh, it's not bad. I mean, the biggest book in the New Testament will take you maybe a couple hours to go through. Most of them are 30 minute reads. So, you know, take time out of your day and spend time in the scripture. Uh, moving on to John 14, verse 23. If anyone loves me, he will keep my word. And my Father will love him, and we will come to him, and, hallelujah, and make our home with him. He who does not love me does not keep my words. And the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. Wow, that's pretty powerful, church. Uh, I mean, it all evolves around obedience obedience if you're listening to this message here and you are not born again according to acts 238 uh, read acts 238 that is your first step into christ you must be part of the body of christ to experience the kingdom of heaven to walk in it in the fullest to have access to it and uh, our instructions on how to make that happens happen is Acts 238 Church. Be blessed. I love you. I want to encourage you to be in the Word and to be in the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name.